so welcome to the software IT tutorial learning session 13 so in this tutorial the successful test suite applications will be generating our report so there are several format of report we can generate uh, I would like to mention that in the SOPIA free versions we don't have that options to generate report okay but uh, in the SOPIA pro version we have that options in the test suite level to generate different kind of report the data report HTML report and the PDF report format okay so Let's get started to see I mean, how we can generate a report after the test suite. Here we are running our test suite and that containing separate uh, several test cases. And each test case having several uh, tests of request and we will be generating report for that. Okay, so let me take you to my test suite first. So this is my test suite. Uh, under the test suite, we have five uh, tests, uh, five test script test cases actually. One is uh, four up given as a manual test. This is something we are doing a delay and there's a manual test that we have given. Let me just put it over here. Okay. For the first one, it's containing several steps. We can see we can use the data source uh, request for we have property as for data sync. And for the second one, I'm having the same data source, uh, data source loop. Uh, for, th uh, for the third one also, so it's each uh, for the fourth one, I mean, it's a delay loop for 2000 milliseconds. So for each test script having some uh, several test step, okay. So let me just run it quick. I will see the result. So this is my test script. Uh, let me run it. This is the API log I'm getting. Along with this HTTP log. So first test script has been passed successfully. It's now doing on uh, second, second one, second one passed, third one. It's also passed. Fourth one is my notice, so I should get some pop up. So, checking it pass. Okay. okay. So, all the test script test cases that you can see, I mean, let me just we can see all the test cases have been passed successfully. Okay. In the transition log, we can uh, see total two, 218 steps was there. If you don't want to view the steps, this is my test cases. Okay. That's passed successfully. Okay. Compare, you can compare, um, you can compare it uh, along for uh, using the against the other uh, soap request. You can compare it here. So, okay, the main thing is that uh, now I have to generate the test report. So, for generating report, just click on that options. Uh, for uh, for uh, if you are using soap API uh, license versions, free versions, so you, you won't get that uh, generating request for. Uh, Paid versions like for SOP UI Pro will get that uh, generate report. So click on that options create reports. You will have the three type of options test suite report, uh, JNUT HTML type report, data export. So if I click on the JNUT style XML report, and let's see. So I want suppose single print. Okay. So if I click on that, it will. So for JUnit type report, it will open as a HTML file. So inside, if you can see, there are five test scripts that is in past successfully. Okay, this is my test suite, and this is my project. And here, the, all the properties has been given. Uh, if you open the properties, we will be able to see. So all these property system level path, Java class path, all the system level properties has been uh, given inside that. Uh, uh, this in properties link okay and uh, here in this JUnit uh, HTML report this is quite uh, we can see what about the status along with the time it taken all this thing has been and the success rate everything is this displaying okay and we have another option to generate report this way like uh, we can use the test uh, suit report and just check on that flow layout Mm. And if you click on the options, um, utilizing that, it will open this report. This so you can save it as a PDF file also. So let me just minimize. This. So we can see this way the report will come. So if we just navigate to the next pages, uh, so let me scroll it. So, uh, so for each and every test case, how much time it will take? Your test case count, assessment count. Everything will be displayed. Uh, what are the status in the green line? If it is failed, it will show in the red line. So, 
see everything is displaying for the test parameter that I have used data source loop so each and every step you will get it in this format okay you can also save it as a PDF format you have that options okay and another um, reporting format that we have uh, is a data export if you in that option you have if you will have to check that option if how you want that report report matrix test suite test cases test suite uh, test case result test suite matrixes and how you want like for csv file your xml file you have to provide the folder okay so for that i have already created folder this report this way uh, let me take you to my so this there here i have created the this uh, here i have created the data format level report uh, data export level report so if you do that you will get a lots of uh, CSV, uh, lots of excel file will get generated uh, in your uh, test uh, to a particular folder and where for each and every test step we will get a separate set of uh, csv file uh, for test suite test suite as well you can see that so here basically we are creating separate set of uh, different different csv file for uh, for each test suite level test case level test parameter level okay so if I mean, it's depend on the requirement. Uh, you can use the HTML reporting also, or you can use the better uh, PDF reporting that comes along with that uh, options. Uh, that uh, test suite report that is the very good option. The export will give you some CSV related files for each and every test script parameter and test suite level. Okay, so this way you can generate the report for your test suite level, or if you for yeah, so for your test suite level and test case level. Okay. So that's all for today guys we have seen now that we are able to generate report for ready api how we can do that okay thanks all for watching